Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Food Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to talk about today because I think we are in the final stages of the pre-team of the season market crash. As you've seen, so many prices go down, crashing, dropping every single corner in place of this market stuff is down. So I wanna talk about that and potentially is this gonna be the buy time for some cards on FIFA. I wanna talk about that as well. Look at a couple graphs from last year, but also look at what is going on and how much price dropping we have had this year and kind of just talk through some things and some scenarios. Of there might be some cards reaching their lowest prices Yesterday and today, we might be at a low point for some cards, at least for the next two or three weeks as we head into Team of the Season. And especially that second week of Team of the Season is a huge one with the Premier League Tots. We'll talk about that a little bit today as well, because I know a lot of these prices that you're seeing on the market are ridiculous. Now, we saw a lot of panic selling yesterday, and there were some opportunities to pick up on cards to even flip, right? Because as we see all the time with panic selling, prices get low, then they rebound back. I bought this at 990 5,000 coins, sold it at 1.12. Ansu Fati is back down to 1.05. I bought this Maradona at 121. I got this one at 117. Trying to flip these right before he drops probably down back under 1.2 million coins uh, early or later today on um, on Sunday. So that is why you see me looking at this stuff on the market right now. I've got a lot of these, a lot of Maradonas listed overnight. So I think the one that was blocking me though, this 1259 really needs to sell so I can get my sales. But that was the name of the game yesterday and it's probably going to be part of the game today is watching for cards that are getting listed up and just panic sold and having quick drops in a you know succession of two to three hours and then seeing their price rebound back because people say, hey, this is too low or the panic selling just kind of stops and dries up because it reaches a point where that card gets too low. So we're gonna take a look at some cards today and talk about how I think there could be some cards hitting their lowest price this weekend. Now, for a lot of these cards, it's really gonna depend on that specific item in the game, how rare it is, how much hype it has, basically just coming down to the demand for that card. Now, this team leader, Bruno Fernandes, has a lot of demand, right? He's probably getting a team of the season, though, and I really wanna compare this to the team of the year version of Kevin De Bruyne from last year because Kevin De Bruyne had a team of the year and he also had a team of the season that was cracked out. It was all 90 statistics, 99 rated, and it was an insane card. But also that card was ridiculously expensive during team of the season when it first came out. So what you saw was panic selling because people knew he was gonna get a tots and then actually his team of the year rebounded. I think that is gonna be a scenario that we see with some of these cards, especially Bruno Fernandes. He was down to 1.89 million coins on both consoles earlier today. He's 1.8 flat right now on the Xbox, which is really low, but he rebounded back on the PlayStation, right? He went from 1.8 back up to just over 2 million coins, and right now he's chilling just under 2 mil. So I think this Bruno Fernandes is an item that if you see a really low price, look at how much this guy has dropped off in total, right? From 3.3 million coins, at the beginning of this month, even at the beginning, sorry, the first week of April, 2.9 million coins, literally seven days ago, he was 2.8. And right now he is down at 1.9 mil. This kind of drop off is something that we didn't see a ton of last year. A lot of the drop offs that we saw last year, since people were not expecting team of the season to be dropping, uh, were just very quick and they dropped off like this Bruno would have dropped off last year. You know, he would have maybe dropped off from like 3.3 mil down to like 2.2. Three, right? And then Team of the Season came out and some of this drop, stuff dropped lower. I'll show, talk about that in a second. But I really think for some of these extra meta, super uh, rare Team of the Years, maybe some of the out of packs icons and other special cards in this game, that this weekend, if you see a period of big time panic selling, whether it be even yesterday, some of these prices might hit their low, today, maybe on Monday, but depending on what content EA release as well you might see some of the lowest prices for these cards. And if you want to buy them for your team for a shorter time period, like let's see, let's say two or three weeks, then I think you can go for it, right? So let's look at some other cards that had that same market movement today where they went low and they bounced back. Road to the final Varan, who just got upgraded by the way to a 91. Take a look at this card, right? Uh, Saturday, yesterday, he went from 1.5 million coins in the morning, 156 after the upgrade, down to 1.2, basically 1.2 million coins flat, went all the way back up to 145, and is now has been around 1.4, but look, he's dropped again down to 
two, eight, nine. If you look at the sales history for these cards, they actually sell when they're up high, right? One, three, seven, five, one, three, nine in the one fours earlier today. So these cards still have demand and they're selling at that higher range. Now, of course, that could potentially be because we still have weekend league going on and there's a little bit of extra demand there. But as you see that demand kind of tailing off today, that's why I do think you're going to see some of these cards get even lower than what they were yesterday. And today could be a buy time for some of these cards because people are going to finish their weekend league, know that team of the season is coming. And at least for the next week or so to say, hey, Maybe these team of the season community cards that get voted in this next Friday don't make it into my team, so I'm going to buy some cards that I want to use in my team. Look at gold Mbappe, man. This is ridiculous. 317,000 coins for a card that literally um, seven days ago was 500K. He's down 200,000 coins on a 500K card. That is almost a 50% drop. That's a huge drop on this Mbappe. I don't think Mbappe goes too much lower than this. 243,000 coins on Xbox. This is still one of the most glitched and OP cards in FIFA. Um, I think, kind of like how we've seen it this past year, every single time, Black Friday, he rose after Black Friday. Team of the year, he rose after team of the year. I know these cards are so supplied this year and they're cheaper than ever because of that supply. I think that Mbappe is going to rebound back this week. This might be back to like 350,000 coins, 340, 350 by the time we get to Friday for a team of the season most consistent. If nothing crazy comes out from EA Sports content-wise, I think that some of these cards, especially your Neymar, your Ronaldo, those, those three guys, right, the big three, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, Golds. These cards are so cheap. They're ridiculously cheap. So I would be taking a look at these today because I think they will bounce back later on this week. Whether you're going to buy to make profit or buy it for your team at a low price, I think these are the lowest prices that we might see for these in a couple weeks. Now, I want to show you a graph from last year and, again, talk about last year and how I feel like there are similarities but also some differences. Now, when we look at a lot of these graphs, this is what we see. Last year when the loading screen, the basically the equivalent of what we had last Friday was dropped, you had a huge drop-offs on the market. And Mbappe went from 522 down to 413. So he dropped 100,000 coins. Okay, GG. That, of course, this Friday right here, he rose a little bit for a team that he's the most consistent. Went up to 424K. Went back down a little under 400K as Prem Tots was approaching. Prem Tots comes out. He's 409,000 coins. And then boom. Big time drop off in the week after that as Premier League Tots is out. The focus is on all the new Tots cards, all the new uh, Premier League cards, the SBCs, the guaranteed packs, upgrade packs, and all that sort of stuff. That's what happened. Now, I think we are going to see some prices drop even lower during Premier League team of the season. But what I think is that drop may not be as big as it was last year because we've had so much more selling ahead of time now. Again, if we look at this Mbappe card, last year he was around 500,000 coins before the panic selling um, really started. And of course, we're not going to count this as panic selling in February. That was, you know, player days and all that stuff. Um, and just the second half of the year of the game. But this guy was 500 coins, basically almost the same ratio as he was last year. And right now he's down to 300K. Whereas last year, he was only down to 400K. So he's 100 thousand coins cheaper this year and arguably Mbappe is even more meta than last year in this game he's 90 rated uh not that that really makes a difference he's one rating higher than last year so pack weight will be about the same and similar um but I just think that some of these cards are going to bounce back and I think they are really really close to their lowest especially if we have a non-tent day today on FIFA on Sunday um I think you will see some of these cards even start to rebound on Sunday because I think people are going to see these prices and they know that TOTS is coming, um, but people are going to start buying back this week, especially if there's not that much content. So, you know, if there is some sort of content today, if you want to wait on Sunday, I think you can do your due diligence and then wait, especially on a card like Mbappe or Neymar that'll get panic sold a lot easier than somebody like a team of the year Messi. Um, this card right here was down at 2.3 mil on a snipe today. He was kind of holding around that 2.5 range. And look at him right now. He's again back under 2.4. So some of the prices that you saw yesterday, I think you're going to see some cards drop even lower than they were yesterday if they didn't have that big of drop-offs. Cristiano Ronaldo, 5.38. That is way lower than what he was yesterday. He was five, he was six million coins basically last night, went down to 5.4, rebounded back to 5.6 and has now been chilling around 5.4, but is now in the 5.3 range, right? So some of the stuff is going to go lower today, and I think that could be a potential buy time for a lot of these players. Now, again, just like I was mentioning, there was a nice little bit of bounce back. I don't really feel like you're going to have that big of a bounce back today on Sunday. So like 
Uh, Sterling was a great example. I was not able to get in on this uh, because I missed the perfect buy time. This guy was down to 700,000 coins on Saturday and he rebounded back up to 800K where he is right now. But this is when you're looking for panic selling today on Sunday. And if you feel like your card is gonna be a good price to buy at, this is what I would look for. Panic like this, right? Sterling was almost 900K. He starts dropping and then he has this sharp decline for a couple hours right before content. You're looking for the sharp decline for this morning. If you're watching cards on the game today on Sunday, if you wanna buy cards for your team that are meta out of pack special cards, um, that are maybe not getting team of the seasons that you want to get in your team. Let's say you want to get this Ansu Fati in your team and get team of the season, right? You know, this guy at his absolute lowest was 990K earlier on Saturday, and then he rebounded back up, right? Still a very popular item down so much from where he was at 1.7 million coins literally a week ago. He's down almost a mil, not quite, like 800, 700K. This might go to like 950 or lower 900 today if there's enough panic to bring him down into that range. And that would be 50K lower than he was yesterday. So that would be a situation where this is a very rare card. I would look to see a rebound on that one slowly throughout the week. I don't know if you're going to see the, the quick rebounds like you saw, because again, the weekend league is kind of ending. Not as many people are going to be playing. But if you get in early before some of these other people see prices stay lowing, stay, staying a little bit lower throughout the week, we've seen this so many times in FIFA's uh, past, is that people think prices are going to keep dropping lower until we actually get to the date of team of the season. But what actually happens is people see the prices and they have nothing to do on FIFA because they've sold their team. They have their coins sitting up in the top left and maybe they're doing a couple SBCs or whatever, but they're waiting to buy their team. That's a big question for a lot of people and they end up waiting too long. So the only real thing that I see dropping prices a lot more on the market, a considerable amount at that fact, is some sort of major icon SBC. Now, Puskas was 1-4 flat earlier today and right now it looks like he's 1-4-7, 1-4-8. So I would look to, to try to find, if you want this Puskas card, I would try to get him down maybe in the 1-3s because I do think that you'll see some prices drop lower today than they were yesterday because all the people that bought these cards back up are either going to have to sell because they were traders and they were trying to make coins on a quick flip or it was people that were saying, hey, this is too low and I want to get my coins out because it's going lower today. So especially on like a Garincha Prime on a very rare card, did not sell at 145 and is now sitting at 1.8 is the cheapest. Not saying that's going to sell there. But you know what I mean, right? Some of these cards, Buchogreno at 1.4. Now, this is down bad, man. This is down really bad today. He was like 1.7 highs, even maybe close to 1.8, I think, before Saturday. So, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I would really be keeping a watch on. I do think today on Sunday, if you want to dip your toes in the water, I guess you could say, and buy a couple cards for your team, if that is something that you're wanting to do, I do think that could be a potential uh, situation where you do get involved because I'm going to show you one graph right now and I'm not saying that a lot of cards are going to look like this but last year this Guji headband of course five star five star was just so incredibly overpowered in this game he hit his lowest in the early stages of the panic selling before team of the season and then stayed high for the first couple weeks and then started to trickle off of course into the summer but the only thing is, I still think some cars this year are going to follow that same trend as like Mbappe and FIFA 19, FIFA 20, sorry, is that when we get to Prem Tots, I do think you will see some stuff drop off. But for the next week or two, if there's cards that you want to try out and put in your team that are rare and that are meta, even this even this guy that's in packs right now, same Maxman, 300,000 coins, that's a pretty sizable drop off. This Prime Eto, 1.6, he went from 1.6 to 1.75, back down to 1.6. This Neymar card today, right, went from 950k at his absolute lowest, kind of bounced back up to around a mil. Boom, right here, 950, back up to almost 1.1, and right now he's at 1 mil flat, so he's kind of coming back down. I think that's what I expect for today on the market, is you're going to start to see these prices going back down, and then they're going to be panic selling again. There's going to be more of those undercuts, especially on the icons, on the team of the years, and stuff like that, uh, especially if a card is not you know, slated to get a team of the season. And or if it's going to be a couple of weeks until that team of the season drops, 213 for Kulusevsky, that's crazy. Uh, then I think today might be a time where you can pick up on some of that stuff. Now, I will say this. A lot of the high tier market is what got destroyed yesterday on Saturday, right? De Bruyne is 900K. Goodness me, man. Goodness me. 138 for Van Dyke is crazy, too. Anyways, 
I think the high tier market has gotten hit first. I think some of those cards are gonna continue to go down and be low today, but I also think the mid tier, your you know, 100 to 600K cards, they're really starting to drop now. They didn't drop as much before. Holland at 310, that's low, right? That's really low. Lozano, 345, that's crazy drops, right? You're really starting to see the middle tier of this game get hit on the market where it wasn't before. Bamba is 192. Uh, that's crazy. Bruno Fernandez, 795. That's the type of stuff that you're going to see today that you didn't see as much yesterday on Saturday is that middle tier. Freeze Mane is 838. Part of the fun going through flipping right now is just looking at how insane these prices are. So yes, of course, team of the season is going to continue to drop some of these card prices. This Rashford is 390. That's nuts. Um, but I do think that there's going to be some stuff, especially if we don't have a lot of content in the next couple of days or meaningful content in the next couple of days continue to bounce back up a little bit. Um, you know, even some cards that might link to team of the season, most consistent players or community, not most consistent, sorry, community tots like this hazard links to a potential Valverde that we could be getting. There's not a lot of hype for this hazard card. This is definitely team of the season material in my opinion, stat wise. So that's what I'd be looking for on the market. Of course, I don't know what he is going to drop content wise. I really don't. And that's why I always throw that caveat in there because I don't think there's going to be any sort of panic like we saw with that Prime Icon Repeatable being released last week. If they released a Moments SBC, I think that could supply a little bit of panic to this game. I think that's the really the only thing that I'd be worried about. If they keep releasing these 83 times 10 or an 84 plus player pick, uh, which I think they might release one or two more of these as we go throughout the week, um, I don't really see this impacting the market a ton. I'm sure some informs went up. Uh, if I'm looking at the fodder market right now, it looks like 84s went up a little bit. Not a crazy amount, but just a little bit. Uh, 83s are ridiculously high right now. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, 84s are up a decent amount um, as well. So that's obviously going to take care of that market a little bit and drain some coins off this game. But just remember, we are in team of the season mode. So be very careful if you're trying to do upgrade packs or prime icon upgrades. Just be careful because those coins are going to become very useful for other things that you're going to want to do in the next week or two. So I know that was a lot of theoretical conversation, but if you want to buy an out of packs icon, maybe even a, uh, a prime or a moments card for the next two weeks, right? I'm giving that two week time frame because I think that when Prem Tots comes again, you are going to see some cards on this game tank again. They're going to take another drop down just because of what that Premier League Tots brings. The first real legit team of the season with a full team of players. I hope we get more than just 11 players in PAX Esports. Based off the voting, it only looks like we might get 11 and that would be bad. So I hope that is not true. In fact, that we get a full team of what is it ever like 20 or 23. Um, but yeah, this is Maradona's down to 1.2 again. He was he went from 1.18 right here all the way up to like 1.3 and was selling there and is now back down. This Fernando Torres was down in the 1.3 lows. He's still in the 1.3 mid. So, you know, not really a rise in that card today. But I think I can speak for the entire market today. And I do think that we are going to see prices get lower again today on Sunday. The only issue is people are now really going to start to think about buying. Yes, this Maradona sold. So now the cheapest on the market is 1.25. 1.295, which I believe I have one cheap listed just as, yes, 128. That's the cheapest one. Come on, baby. I bought that at 117. That'd be a beautiful flip with this market being crashed. So hopefully I can get these out both tonight for around 1.2 highs and take, I think that'd be like 30 or 40K profit, maybe about 50K actually, because I got that one at 117. But um, for both of those combined, be a little bit of decent flip right there. So that's how I'm feeling about the market, right? Those are my honest thoughts. Now, of course, EA is in control. They can release whatever content they want, but I think you're going to start to see people buying up these cards because they're just getting too low. They've got coins ready to do it. And most, or sorry, community team this season is not the most hyped, all right? It really isn't. It's cool. It's not the most hype though. So I do that. That's why I do think you will see some of the stuff start to bounce back. So you have the green light from me. If there is panic selling, that's the one caveat. If the prices have dropped a lot and if they even drop more today, that for me would be a thumbs up on snagging a card for your team for the next couple of weeks until we get further into team of the season when arguably all of this stuff is going to continue to drop lower. So that is the video for me today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.